this is Long Haul Larry Big Blue. We are actually at the ADL yard, and I have picked up an Allentown. You guys seen that before? I didn't really record it, but went up there, got picked up on that load, and I uh, ran that down to a, uh, Aldi's in Frederick, Maryland just on the road here <clears throat> and went in there and got empty and then I came on over here and dropped that trailer and boss man's dad ran down and preloaded a trailer for me with my chicken load so I am hooked up to that one right now I have the rental trailer this week
there's certain things that happen sometimes with like if you're down in like let's say you're down in Texas and it's and it's 105 degrees out and you go to get loaded and you have to pre-cool that trailer down to they want they say they want to load at negative 10 well that reefer really 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 works to get down there and they may have your doors closed and you sitting there in front of the door until you get down to a like a below zero temperature and then you know what they do is they open up your trailer and then they have you back in well when you're backed in you're not sealed in there so and if it's 105 or and the sun's beating down and actually like 115 120 degrees beating on that trailer <clears throat> it's not going to maintain a negative temperature with the doors wide open and not sealed so that reefer just works and works and works and a lot of times the heat and the humidity will get into the trailer then when you close up the, the doors sometimes the trailers will actually come up that there's a problem and it come up with a code and it may even shut it down so he needs people that know what to do in that situation um, what happens is, is that there's a couple different things on it uh, there's a tube that's in the motor I, I can't think of names right now there's the evaporators and all that stuff it stuff freezes up and it gets too much ice on it and it actually blocks up and restricts it and it tricks it and the computer and the thinking there's a problem so it'll shut it down it's real simple i mean you just have to fire it up and run it on a on a defrost until all that ice is melted off and then continue on and you may have to do it once or twice more you know to, to keep it going and stuff like that he needs people that just have experience with reefers because the main reason why is because my boss, he uh, does not want to have, he hires people in the hopes of not having a lot of hands-on experience or a lot of hands-on coaching, I will say. He wants you to be able to jump in a truck, you have experience, and he's hoping to just send you the loads and you can take care of it. That's the main difference. And there's just extra attention that has to be paid when you haul a reefer. I mean, you have to keep it, keep an eye on that temperature. You have to make sure that it's all okay. That you know your that your load is is being taken care of. And a dry van. I mean, basically, you back into some place. They pile it up and. You may put some load lock bars on it and you're ready to go you know you take off and run to the place and deliver the load well with the reefer loads you'll get to a place and if something happened with that temperature they can actually refuse that load and boss man will be stuck with it and you know some of these loads are hundred thousand one hundred and twenty thousand dollars worth of product and he'll be stuck with that load and I know what the next question is going to be uh, well what happens with that load there's different things that can happen a lot of times what will happen is they'll shop around and find somebody else if one company says they won't take it because it hit five degrees over the target temperature. It may be in their guidelines, they won't take it, but there might be somebody else that will buy it. A lot of times there's like wholesale grocer places that like a lot of, um, what do you want to say, restaurants will come in there and they'll come in there and buy stuff at a cheaper price the product isn't as maybe top of the line so he may be able to sell it off for 60% of the cost to recoup he may be able to get you know a little bit of his cost back that way also there is insurance that you carry just for that um, my first
first few years, I did not carry that when I was independent. I did not carry that special insurance. It's just called reefer insurance. And I had a few breakdowns. I never had a load rejected. But there was a few breakdowns that I did have on the reefer. And I'd be running into places. And if you break down, let's say this time of the night, then you're gonna end up having to pay a service person to come out, and you gotta pay them after hours and everything else. It gets very, very expensive. And I paid a few of those, and then I started going, you know what, how much is this reefer insurance? And I checked into it, and it wasn't that much more added onto my policy. And by that time, I had been independent for a few years already. So my insurance rates had been dropping. So really, it really wasn't much money at all added onto my policy. And then uh, in my policy that I had, basically, if I was, if I had a, a breakdown, you know, I had my deductibles and everything. And I never had an accident, never, I never used my insurance. I never did it, but there was a deductible, but you know, it would have, if I would have claimed it on my insurance, I would have went towards a deductible. I still would have had to pay it for like a breakdown or something like that. But if I was to lose a load, basically I would end up paying 10% of the, of the cost of the load into the insurance company and they would have covered the rest of it. So. So it is 4.35 a.m. on Saturday, September 8th, 2018. And we are on our way to Shawano, Wisconsin. Hey guys, here we are. It is Saturday, September 8th, 2018. We are in the big, huge metropolis of Russell's Point on 33 in Ohio. We are just running along up to Wisconsin. Gonna be running up to Shawano and delivering our chicken load. Everything is going good. I ended up uh, just getting east of Columbus this morning. Shut down for my break and took a woke up to a rainy, rainy day. Which is good. Need rain. If you don't have rain, then you got problems. I should be up in Shawano tomorrow, a little before noon. Everything is going good there. I just heard from uh, my daughter. <clears throat> um, she is doing well. They are honeymooning out in uh, California that's where they went and I asked her I said uh, so did it take you a couple of guys take you guys a couple days just to unwind and just to be up lots of naps so, so they went out to Napa Valley and that's where they where they honeymoon for the week But I guess uh, they will be heading home tomorrow, so. I wish that I could uh, actually go over there. I'd like to go actually clean their house before they get home. They, uh, they had a lot of friends and uh, house guests right before the wedding, a couple days up to the wedding. And, and all the decorations and all that stuff was all over their house. So, their house is kind of messy. I kind of actually wish I could get over there and go through their house and clean it all up for them so they get home and wouldn't have to
to mess with it. But that's just not going to happen.